Hi guys, today we're going to talk about school. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited to go back to school. This summer has been crazy, just work and finally get back to school, kind of relax a little bit. I am excited for this semester because I am having some good classes that I am looking forward to them. I am a sophomore in college, so I just want to give you some tips of how to organize your school stuff. Um, please excuse the hair. My hair is wet and it's getting like my shirt wet. So, first of all, if you don't like school, you have to kind of spice it up a little bit. You have to have bright colors, you know, just something so it can... Don't make school, like, boring. Just try to, like, spice it up if you don't like school. And everybody has their own, um, how to organize their stuff. So don't think that my way is the right way or what not. There's a bunch of videos out there on how to organize school stuff. So this is just one of many things. Um, this is good for high school, too. Um, I kind of use this method on high school. I kind of like to switch it up, too. Last semester, I, um, decided that I was only going to do that folder thing like when you have a folder for each class and a notebook for each class and then I just had my pencil pouch that became a problem because um, every once in a while I would forget my pencil pouch or I would grab the wrong binder or wrong folder and it was just kind of hard to keep track of but I really wanted to try it because I saw so many people out there you know with their like only like their folder and their um, notebook and I was like oh, I want to try it too but it didn't work for me um, just I don't know, I guess I have to be a little bit more organized. And like I said, this year, um, this semester, I'm trying something different as well. And um, this is what my binder looks like. If, like I said again, you want to have school, but like spice it up a little bit, you know? You don't want to be all boring. So I got a bright green, a, a bright green folder. I, everything in here I got from Target, so you can go ahead and get. Um, I decorated it with um, pictures and um, I have a lot of magazines so I went through magazines and just cut out stuff and put it all around here. On this side too, ooh, what do I have here? Um, I just put pictures and you know just spice it up a little, very colorful, attractive binder. Um, I went to Target and I was just grabbing random stuff. In the end, I didn't realize that kind of everything matched. Inside of the binder, there's a little pouch right here. Um, this binder is a little bit longer than your usual binders. I think just like your usual binders end right here, and this one's just a little bit longer. And inside it has a pouch. Um, I really like this because inside of here, I have my pencil pouch. Um, just pencils, highlighters, erasers, and I'm taking math this year, so I have my calculator in here, and I'm very, very organized, so I have um, a notebook. You can see, like, the little stripe, the really colorful. I thought this was pink when I got home. I was like, oh, wow, everything kind of matched. So... Uh, you have to have a planner if you're going to go to school and you want to be organized, you want to have good grades, you have to keep track of the homework you get, when stuff is due, because sometimes they'll say, oh yeah, an essay is due on the third of, uh, like, three weeks ahead, you know, and it's just, you're not going to remember that, so it's good to just write it in your bind, in your notebook, in your calendar right here, um, write it in here, homework, write it in here, um, I have, I like keeping little tabs, like, important stuff, so... Um, I bought some of these, and with little, it's not tape, it's kind of like, it's, oh, like those, let me show you. With these square molds, they're like little squares, I can't, I don't know where the inside went, I just used them right now. Um, with those, I put two of them in here, so the post-its will be in, the little, yeah, little tabs will be in here, and will, you know, stay there and not wander around. After that, in my binder, I have like a lot of folders in here, one for each class that I'm taking. Um, you don't like if you have a lot of classes and you have a lot of classes to keep track of. You're not if you if you have a great memory, go ahead and not label them. I have a horrible memory, so it's not like oh this this colors for this class, this colors for this class. So what I have, I put it. I got um, little tabs. 
and wrote um, like algebra and stuff like that. I would usually put them right here, like on the side, just but I want to do something different, so I put it right here. I think it looks good. So I have algebra, um, psychology, um, world religions, and in the middle I put a sheet of paper just because I didn't want to have it all the way in the back, you know, having to move all those folders just to get paper. I put it in the middle. Um, I have literature right here. I have an extra because I have physical conditioning and I'm not sure, I really doubt that I'll have a lot of papers so I just have this one just in case. And I have a Hello Kitty um, um, folder just so I can put just random papers in there, you know, like school stuff or whatnot. I have that in here. In the back of my binder I just have my schedule with... Um, class things and everything and this is my life I mean after this I don't have to carry have to worry about carrying stuff around for getting pencils for getting this I think it's a really good way to just have everything in here just for each class each paper just put it in their binder put it in their binder you know so when you're you have to take out homework or you have to take out paper you just go to that bind go to that folder and just take it out you know everything from that class is going to have each separate folder if you have to have notes you have you have your sheet of papers in here you write your notes and stick it in the folder so i know i just a great way of having each class have their own separate little folders and just you know keep creative have some color have fun you know if you don't want to do those colors that's fine i know bright green it might be too much for someone but get a white binder you know cover it up with pictures do stuff that you like you know you don't want to make school boring so I hope you guys enjoy this and that it helped you um, you know get organized and have a good school year bye